Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to see how to install Java on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version. So let's see how we can do that. So I'll just open my browser and uh, then search for Oracle Java JDK and then the first link which appears in the result is the link from oracle.com just click on it java downloads and then here on this page just scroll down little bit and then you can see that we have the file for different packages and since ubuntu is a debian based linux operating system we are going to use this link and on the same page you can find the package for different operating systems like mac os or windows but since we are doing it for ubuntu i'll just click on this download link and i'll just let the download be completed and as you can see the file is being downloaded after downloading you can open it up and check where it has been downloaded and it's in the downloads folder so now we can open our terminal just press ctrl plus alt plus t to open the terminal and then here i'll just show whether java is installed on my computer or not for that just type java space hyphen hyphen version and then you can see java is not found because java is not installed on my computer and if you want to install open jdk then you can follow one of these commands to install open jdk but since i am trying to install java jdk so i am not going to use these commands now the second step is to open the directory where the jdk has been downloaded so i'll just type cd download all right the name of the folder is downloads it ends with an s so i'll just write cd downloads forward slash and hit enter now the active directory is downloads now just type ls this is to show the content of the folder and you can see we have this jdk-18 which means we have the 18th version of jdk now to install it just type sudo dpkg space hyphen i space then we have to copy the name of the file from here and i'll just paste it and hit enter and then it will ask for your password so just enter your password and hit enter now the jdk installation will begin and you can see we have encountered some problems and the installation was not complete error processing package jdk and dependency problems prevent configuration of jdk 18 so let's see how we can solve this problem and also you can observe jdk18 depends on lib library c6-i386 which is not installed so let's solve this problem first so the first command that i will use is sudo apt-get space update all right now this is going to update the repositories in the operating system then the second command that i'll use is sudo apt hyphen get space clean all right then the third one is sudo space apt hyphen get space auto remove all right and now you can observe it says try apt space hyphen hyphen fix hyphen broken space install and this is the command that i'm going to use now all right now just type y and hit enter and let the processing be complete 
all right now let's try to install the jdk once again so for that i'll use the command that we have used in the beginning so just use your up arrow key to scroll to the same command that is sudo dpkg space hyphen i space jdk18 linux x64 bin dot deb all right now the next command that we need to use is update alternatives this command will be used to set the path to the folder where we have the oracle java executables so just type sudo update hyphen alternatives space hyphen hyphen install space forward slash user that is usr forward slash bin forward slash java space java space forward slash usr forward slash lib forward slash jvm forward slash jdk hyphen 18 bin java space 1 now i'm going to keep all these commands which i'm using in the terminal in the description of this video so you can directly copy them from there anyways then we are going to get this message update alternatives using user library jvm jdk bin java to provide user bin java in auto mode that's all right now we have to use the update alternatives once again with java c so i'll just change or add c here make it java c here also and here also all right then just hit enter now the java is installed if you want to check the version that is installed you can just type java space hyphen hyphen version and you can see we have java 18.0.2.1 2022 8th month and 18th is the day all right let's just clear this up then you can check the java c version also in the same way all right now we have to set the environment variable also so for that let's just type sudo update alternatives space hyphen hyphen config space java so that we can get the path which we have to set in the environment variable so this is the path which contains the java installation we have to copy this path now in order to set the environment variable we have to open the environment file so for that we can just type sudo gedit space forward slash etc forward slash environment and hit enter so the environment file is going to open up and here we have to set the environment variable so let's come back to our terminal and from here i'll just copy the path of the jdk so copy starting from this forward slash user forward slash library forward slash jvm forward slash jdk hyphen 18 forward slash just copy till this part all right and then if you want you can open up the environment file once again it's okay to open it again then get to the bottom and just type java underscore home make sure all of them are in capital letter then equals then double quotes then paste the path that you have copied and then just save it save the file and then close it let's just clear the terminal once again So after that we just have to refresh our environment files to refresh the environment variables. So for that just type source space forward slash etc forward slash environment. Then we can just echo the java home 
variable that we have set so just type echo space dollar java home and hit enter and then you can see the path that we have set for the java home so this is how we can set the java home environment variable for your java jdk installation so this is how you can download and install oracle java jdk on your ubuntu operating system i hope you like the video i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching